Happy June and happy new moon, celestial ones. This is Yuele with your celestial insight on how this new moon in Gemini will be illuminating new possibilities and initiating new beginnings in your personal lives over the next month, according to your zodiac sign. This Gemini new moon takes place on June 6th and will be an exciting, enlightening, positive, and also polarizing new moon activation for many reasons. Gemini is the sign associated with enlightenment, learning, creative potential, social connections, contracts, and communication. But it's also associated with duality, okay? Duality in terms of the duality of human nature and the pros and cons of making informed, unwise, or contrarian decisions, connections, and creative directions. So since new moons are when the sun and the moon meet up to create portals of illumination and revelation, as well as these crossroads for decisions and new beginnings, when the sun and the moon meet up in Gemini, you can absolutely expect new announcements new useful information, invitations, new connections, and choice points to appear. And choice points where making smart and informed decisions, agreements, connections, and creative directions can determine positive results. And choice points where unwise actions bring some consequences and painful lessons. This new moon in Gemini is happening at 16 degrees, and it harkens back to December of 2022, when we had a full moon in Gemini that was conjunct Mars while it was retrograde in Gemini at this same 16th degree. And what was interesting is that Mars in Gemini energy and the 16th degree of Gemini present the exact same mystical teachings, themes, and circumstances in life. It's about tests of navigating and resolving conflicts, disputes, competition, contracts, and potentially inflammatory, combative, or consequential communications with smart strategic solutions, using evidence, creativity, and grace. Mars in Gemini is about winning with your words and facts. It's about using words, logic, knowledge, evidence, your creativity, or connections to your advantage to make improvements and to resolve conflict or outsmart any competition. And the shadow aspect of Mars in Gemini is putting your foot in your mouth, starting wars with your words igniting protests or being in protests. And similarly, the theme and the mystical teachings of the 16th degree in Gemini is about the dualities of rational and passionate persuasion, using maturity and well-reasoned arguments and facts to argue your case and win others over to your point of view versus simply appealing to or acting off of Emotions like anger, fear, or victimhood. And when the full moon was conjunct Mars retrograde in Gemini at the 16th degree, it was about tests to restrain shadow impulses and unchecked emotion and to really master the mystical teachings of this degree and aspect so that you can access the favor of fixed stars at this degree, which actually also relate to how your emotional intelligence, your smart communication, and your ideas can influence your fates, how they can influence negotiations and any conflict or competition in a really positive way. And so for this new moon in Gemini on June 6th, Venus joins in this magical meetup of the sun and the moon at this 16th degree. And they all make a trine to Chericlo in Aquarius 
and a trine to the south node in Libra. And the sun and moon in Venus also make a square to Saturn in Pisces. And so you can think of this as a sort of full circle mystical moment where Venus arrives to raise the stakes, resources, and the rewards related to your affairs, your inventive ideas, your communication and media projects, and relationships. And where the square to Saturn prompts careful planning and problem solving for mastery, resolves, and long-term benefits. The new moon astrology brings news, rulings, supportive relationships, technology, learning opportunities, as well as circumstances, choice points, contractual agreements, and the consequences related to your daily routines, the realization of your dreams, and your financial and material security in the immediate and long-term future. When the sun is conjunct a planet, this is considered a kazemi in astrology, which means a sort of alignment with the sun that can create either combustive dynamics or incredible blessings from the heart of the sun and the divine one. And so similar to true Gemini fashion, it will be a mixed bag of dualities and creative possibilities. It will be a mystical time to exercise discernment and discretion, an important time to use facts, evidence, reason, clear, persuasive communication, and efficient planning, efficient systems for your great ideas. And to even use beauty, charm, PR, great impressions, and expert guidance from women to get your luckiest outcomes since Venus is in the mix. With the sun, moon, and Venus in a trine to Chariclo, it's about great ideas and inventions being rewarded. So with this aspect in the mix, it's a great time to bet on yourself to shoot your shot in venture capital, to apply for financial support, or a job position. It's a great time to promote, launch, or begin courses and development of Venusian and mercurial ventures and projects, which are things related to marketing, writing, publishing, educational courses, trainings, or creative media content. And in terms of Venus, things like fashion, merchandising, beauty and cosmetics, focus on well-being, daily routines, travel, and productivity. This lunation can even highlight mail and shipping issues or highlight mail and shipping solutions related to your neighborhood or your business. For example, in alignment with this lucky new moon astrology, yesterday, uh, June 4th, while we had Mercury conjunct Jupiter in Gemini making a trine to Pluto, and while we had the Sun conjunct Venus in Gemini, Rihanna, which is the global singer and entrepreneur, announced the expansion of her beauty brand with a system of hair care products. And she opened up a newsletter in anticipation for launch during this two-week new moon period. I'm drawing your attention to this because, for example, she used creative visuals of a neighborhood and local neighborhood streets in her promo for her beauty products. This is the new moon astrology on the nose, okay? Gemini is related to promotional marketing, marketing news, announcements, newsletters, Gemini is also related to the third house, which relates to local neighborhoods and daily travel routes and daily routines, right? In addition to being related to creative digital content. And so it's super on the nose, okay? But another example of how this new moon astrology is manifesting can be seen in a news story released in the U.S., where news broke about a legal ruling 
where a female-owned venture capital investment firm was legally blocked from issuing business support financial grants to Black women entrepreneurs, stating that it was in violation of equal opportunity for all, according to the Civil Rights Act. And ironically, of course, the Civil Rights Act was created in an effort to actually help advance economic opportunity for this group and others. And so this loops in what I mentioned earlier about the themes of this degree, highlighting potential conflict and the use of facts, evidence, logic, and passionate arguments to make your case. What I didn't mention is that in addition to Venus indicating a focus on women and money, the actual mystical symbol for the 16th degree in Gemini is a figure of a woman activist making a case for her cause. So this news story is also quite literally the sun, Venus, and the moon being conjunct at this 16th degree in a trine with Chara, Glow, and Aquarius, which represents a women's philanthropic financial support initiative for women's business ideas. And the trine to the south node in Libra and the square with Saturn and Pisces representing this initiative being blocked by the courts based on a lawsuit brought by a man. A man who has a long history of filing lawsuits to overturn laws and to block support initiatives for communities in need. Okay. So again, polarizing examples (laughs) of how this new moon astrology is manifesting super on the nose. Okay. So for the next two to three weeks, these sorts of themes and and all of their varieties of dualities, right, can appear. But with so many planets in Gemini, however, be careful not to overwhelm yourself with all the news and activity that may be going on around you. It's a great time to invest your time, energy, attention, and money into your ideas and entrepreneurial ventures and the business that pays you. Okay. Saturn and the South Node in Libra figuring in this astrology can make it a good time to handle intellectual property affairs, things like copyright, trademarks, patents, as well as a good time to handle any legalities. Saturn and the South Node in Libra are associated with helping with or highlighting responsibility, paperwork, government and regulating institutions and professionals, and just institutions and legalities broadly. The new moon square with Saturn could absolutely mean blocks, delays, and having to problem solve with these kinds of affairs. However, they can help you connect with expert knowledge and professionals that help you learn and that help you resolve things in your long-term best interests. Last month's astrology was really about becoming aware of your potential, becoming aware of processes and resources available to help you realize your potential or some goal. And June astrology asks, what will you do with your resources like your money, like technology, social media, your access to knowledge or experts? How will you use your creativity and ideas in your relationships and relational skills? And how can new daily routines, schedules, and environments improve your well-being, confidence, and productivity? How can they bring focus and luck in learning, in teaching, or creative and business projects? And how can they bring luck in making relationship connections or discoveries that majorly improve your income, your quality of life, and your overall impact in life. And so with so many planets in Gemini in general, it's really good for doing some planning, 
right? And even some journaling generally, but maybe in relationship to these questions. So take a minute to like this video and subscribe to both the YouTube channel and the podcast wherever you listen. And if you're listening in to the podcast, tap the stars to leave us a positive review. In the remainder of this video, we'll get into how this new moon in Gemini may be illuminating new possibilities and initiating new beginnings in your personal lives over the next month according to your zodiac sign with divine wisdom from the stars and the cards. If you are listening into the pod, you can follow along with visuals of the beautiful cards and key astral calendar dates mentioned on YouTube, okay? So make sure that you listen and watch the messages according to your rising sign first. And then also check out your sun and your moon sign and any sign in which you have a stellium. And share this insight with someone you love. Let's get into it. Happy June and new moon, dear Aries. The general astrology message definitely applies to you, especially those of you who are Aries rising and who may have a natural chart. This new moon is all about your mindset, the promotion and planning of your creative and entrepreneurial projects, as well as your communication skills and new supportive connections or partnership opportunities that can help bring your ideas to life. You could receive good news, good feedback, and helpful resources this month, and just have more joy and ease in your daily life as a blessing from Venus. Professional advisors, customer support, or media marketing and tech support could be helping you resolve some issues or blocks this month, or they could be gifting you information, right, that opens up possibilities and that helps you surpass some limitations or reach a milestone. These circumstances could be related to resolving banking, money, business, or any sort of account or contractual issues where things can work out just fine if you keep a cool head and open mind and use any necessary evidence in a diplomatic approach. This month, marks a turning point for you in dealing with frustrating limitations and cycles in relationships, legalities, finances, and your career. You have so much to look forward to. Saturn and Spirit want you to take every lesson in stride and recognize the choice to see yourself as either a master or victim of events. James Burgess writes, Evidence of mastery comes in two forms, the ability to make practical adjustments to situations and the ability to make inner adjustments to self. And this is exactly what this astrology presents for you. But importantly, Venus is here to help boost the money that you make from your wisdom and your creative ideas. And so this may be a magic month for you, so long as you maintain self-belief, good vibes in your daily routines, and manage your money well while you mind the business that pays you. All right, so we did receive an angel number message for you for this month, and it is 1133. And this angel number is all about new beginnings. It's about instinct, intuition, progress, and happiness. New beginnings, creation, independence, and uniqueness. It's about motivation. It's about striving forward with your ambitions and with willpower. And it's absolutely about creating your reality with your thoughts, beliefs, and actions. And I absolutely did get that message about your mindset being so important to the quality of life and your successes for this month and going forward. And so with this being a master number of 11, it's absolutely about a gateway and a portal opening up for you. And that's about 
your connection with your higher self and serving your soul mission and life purpose. And then with the number three, it's absolutely about self-expression and communication, supporting your growth and expansion. Okay, it's also about ascended masters, so in terms of your spiritual helpers, but also the ways that helpers will be showing up for you in your daily life with any of your affairs. Okay, so master number 33 is absolutely about the energies of compassion, blessings. It's about honesty. It's about discipline, bravery, and courage. And that all things are possible. Okay, so 1133 is a powerful message to give your fears, doubts, and worries over to the angels and the Ascendant Masters so that they can be transmuted and healed on your behalf. This is absolutely resonating with what came through about um, any sort of customer support or experts or professionals also helping you and you giving your worries and any issues over to them for resolve, okay? So this says you have much spiritual work to do within yourself so that you are fully prepared in every way to fulfill your soul mission and divine destiny. Trust that the angels and your spiritual support team, they support you completely and surround you with love and protection at all times. Things are being worked out for your highest good and they are helping with your preparations and long-term work. So you are being encouraged to fully express yourself and live your life with enthusiasm and optimism, safe in the knowledge that you are well-blessed, loved, and supported in all that you do. Live your life with joy, passion, and purpose to help manifest your true desires. And be prepared to expand and increase your development and awareness and to use your knowledge and wisdom for the upliftment of others. All right, so your spirit team is sending you positive energies and signs. So pay particular attention to your thoughts, your ideas, and insights as they are giving you information about the next steps to take along your spiritual path. All right, so this is absolutely aligned with Jericho, which is about the inventor, okay, and inventive ideas. All right, a part of this new moon astrology, okay? So it says, right, um, information about next steps is being provided, and any positive changes or projects you are considering will be well worth your while, and you will be assisted in their undertaking. All right, dear Aries, so I hope that this aids your journey. Be sure to subscribe. Leave some comments and a positive review of what resonates with you. Share this insight with someone that you love. And thank you for listening and have a magical month. Take care of your hearts. Happy June and happy new moon, dear Taurus. We have the moon child card here for you as the oral message for you this new moon. And this new moon affects your sense of values, your personal valuables, your self-worth, and perhaps heightens your emotions related to career, co-worker, well-being, and money matters. And those are themes that truly make up the shape of our lives. And so there is both a universal call to you, represented by things happening in your material life, and your own sense of intuitive knowing that any loss or issues in your external life are a great nudge for you to trust a higher power, to trust deep ancient wisdom or wise women around you, and your own power to stabilize your internal and external worlds, and to improve your social image and earnings if you commit to putting that wisdom in your creative talents to use. Having the moon child and the opportunity card here this new moon while having this new moon and Jupiter in your money and self-worth house is truly about the divine asking you to truly trust and step out of your comfort zone in any self-doubt and frankly any sense of entitlement related to 
thinking you can avoid challenges or the responsibilities or any hard work required to achieve a newer, a deeper, and truer level of self-love, mastery of your talents, and a more satisfying success. Mirror, mirror, my love. <laughs> mirror, mirror. And the thing is, mystical opportunities and possibilities have been revealed to you and even presented to you. You know your gifts and deepest desires and that you can create success through media, through the path opening for you, and through your joy and light. The divine doesn't want you to fail or suffer. They want you to commit to humility, to Deepen your faith and wisdom from spiritual and creative practices that help you rediscover and be in embodied union with your light, which will reveal just how powerful your unique expression of the divine is. This will be a year-long process for you with Jupiter in Gemini, but when Mars enters your sign this month, the message is for you to be bold and brave. So we do have an angel number message here for you. And that angel number is 1033. And so the number one is about instinct, intuition, progress, and happiness. It's about new beginnings, creation, independence and uniqueness. Wow. It's about motivation, striving forward, making progress in your ambitions and with willpower. It's about creating your realities with your thoughts, beliefs, and actions, while the number zero relates to developing your spiritual aspects, and I want to say your talents and gifts. And it's about your God force and universal energies. It's about infinite potential and choice it's about oneness wholeness continuing cycles and flow and the beginning point point. and number three is about self-expression and communication manifesting your desires with optimism and enthusiasm and it's about your natural skills and talents it's about your friendliness and sociability your creativity in this cycle of growth and expansion, okay? And so with master number 33 being here, it's absolutely about guidance. It's about uplifting of mankind. It's about compassion. It's about blessings and healing. And it's about teachers and support appearing. It's about honesty. It's about discipline, bravery and courage so this number is for you to have the courage to live your life with enthusiasm and optimism safe in the knowledge that you are well blessed and supported in all that you do live your life with joy passion and purpose manifest your true desires be prepared to expand and increase your development your awakening and awareness this angel number 1033 is a message to give your fears doubts and worries to your spirit team so that they can be transmuted and healed trust that they support you completely and surround you with love and protection and trust that the universal energies are working things out for your highest good and that your angels are sending you positive energies, intentions, and affirmations. Pay attention to your thoughts, ideas, and insights as they are giving you information about the next steps to take along your spiritual path. And know that any positive changes or projects you are considering will be worth your while, and you'll be assisted. So follow your heart's desires and use your personal creativity in ways that will lift you your energies and that of others and keep a positive attitude about yourself and about others and the world in order to manifest peace love and harmony send blessings and positive energies to others in the environment 
and expect wonderful blessings in return. Be the creator of your own experiences by intentionally guiding your own life and consciously choosing the direction of your thoughts, intentions, and actions. Allow your true nature to shine forth and create life experiences that empower you and that enrich your life. Incredible. Okay, dear Taurus, beloved bulls, I hope this aids your journey. Be sure to subscribe to the UA Light Celestial Insight YouTube and podcast and leave some comments and positive review of how this resonates with you. Share this insight with someone that you love. And thank you for listening. Have a magical month and take good care of your hearts. Happy June and happy new moon, dear Geminis. The cards and the stars suggest that you are being asked to shift any limiting beliefs about the value of your ideas and your earning potential from any ideas or ventures. The divine thinks that you and your loved ones deserve more joy, more self-care, and the divine wants to bless you. You may be feeling so much wanderlust and a sort of excitement about future possibilities, but you may know that careful planning and some professional changes are required or that you have certain responsibilities to complete in order to travel or to experience your ideal sense of freedom and happiness. You may find yourself faced with opportunities to expand your income beyond your current income range that give you an opportunity to confidently make use of your creative and communication and commercial or marketing capabilities. And it may require making smart partnership, budget, and investment decisions. But recent events have reminded you of your powerful mind and that you have the intellectual chops to learn and to complete any task. So release and repel any projections from people who may insinuate that you should live in lack and not experience joy or the finer things in life. Love yourself deeply and unapologetically and make full use of any media, marketing, and learning opportunities, and romance your life. The oracle card that we got for you here reads, Leading a spiritual life does not mean living in lack. This card asks you to release any underlying beliefs that you may hold regarding entitlement and worthiness that may be blocking your ability to receive. When you have an abundance of wealth, both inner and outer, you will have an abundance to give and to share with others. Your angel number message that we got for you is angel number 1055, okay? And this suggests that the timing is right for a new venture, project, or direction. It says, do not allow others to deter or hinder you in any way once you have made your final choice or decision. Wow. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Yikes. This is only you know your true heart's desires and soul calling. So listen to your own intuition and look to new directions and opportunities with an open mind and optimism. It says you deserve some positive changes to take place in your life. So have the courage to be true to yourself, and your passions, and your purpose says take charge of your own life i'm sorry <laughs> this is crazy <laughs> oh gosh i don't read these beforehand oh ah, yikes that's freaking me out G. like never stop being in awe of miracles and just the magic of the divine okay so this says um take charge of your own life do things your own way and make positive changes to benefit yourself and those around you although you may fear the unknown your angels ask that you trust that these changes will be to your long-term benefit and advantage a happy outcome and result 
follows your positive expectations. So stay positive and optimistic about impending changes, and you will find that all will go smoothly. Usher, have mercy. Okay. I hope that this aids your journey, Gemini. Like, that's incredible. Um, be sure to subscribe to the UA Light YouTube and podcast. Leave some comments and positive reviews of what resonates with you. Like, if you got goosebumps from that, <laughs> like I did, <laughs> share this insight with someone that you love. And thank you for listening. And take good care of your hearts. Hello, dear Cancers. This new moon invites you to do some introspection. Since your houses of deep spirituality, spiritual communion, rest, dreaming, and healing are highlighted. Um, with the intention card here, it's definitely in alignment with this, right? Suggesting that you may want to examine your mindset to engage in spiritual and mindfulness practices and to consider what you fear, maybe what you fear in relationships, and also to consider what or who you invest time, energy, and resources into since we have the Two of Cups. This astrology is super lucky to answer any prayers, to deliver wisdom, and cooperation in any education, relationship, marriage, divorce, family, or property and asset matters moving forward. You may be detoxing any toxicity from your life, making peace with, with loss, or supporting yourself or someone else who may be on a healing journey where you're learning a lot about tender care and healing. With the Two of Cups and in Intention as your new moon message, you may be invited to open your heart to deeper care, to deep conversation, to deep intimacy and commitment, and a more fulfilling relationship or more fulfilling relationships. You may be raising your standards and your knowledge based on research and based on considering what do the quality of your personal and professional relationships reveal to you and about you? Are they enriching? Are they mutually supportive? And if not, why? Are you open to develop deep connections that pour into you as much as you pour into them? And that broaden your connection to spiritual realms? And that's the message, <laughs> short and sweet. So we did have an angel number message come through for you, and it is 919. Okay, so 9 is related to a higher perspective and expansive viewpoint. It's about leading life as a positive example for others. It's about benevolence and light working. It's also about endings and conclusions, while the number one is about striving forward towards new beginnings, and it's about positivity and achieving success and creating your reality and experiences with your thoughts and beliefs, and it's about stepping out of your comfort zone and towards new directions and opportunities. This angel number brings a message that a situation or phase in your life has come to an end and that a new door has opened for you as a result of your, of your thoughts, intentions, and actions. And it's time for you to make some fresh starts and look forward to new beginnings with regards to the direction of your life and your lifestyle choices. So stay positive, optimistic, Keep your thoughts filled with love and light and make the most of new opportunities. Walk your spiritual path with confidence. Pay attention to your inner visions, ideas, and dreams as your dreams tell you what is really going on for you at this time. Absolutely aligned with this intention card and this new moon happening in your 12th house and making a trine to your 8th house, which has Chariclo, right? So your psychic realm, your, your, you receiving inner visions and ideas through dreams and all of these kinds of things, it could be really, really strong. 
okay? So it says, if you examine your values, beliefs, and dreams in context of who you truly are and where you are in your life, you may begin to recognize a shift. Once you align the values and beliefs of your dreams and your soul, you will find that the universal energies will work with you to turn your dreams to reality. This number also suggests that your prayers are being answered. Well, and you've manifested all you need in your life. Your true spirituality is coming to the fore, and the angels are supporting you and guiding you along your path. Allow the old to be released so that it is able to be replaced with new. And yes, those questions that came through there were absolutely about also considering the relationships as a part of that. Okay. All right, dear Cancers. I hope that this is supportive for your journey. Um, subscribe to the UA Light YouTube and podcast and leave comments and positive review of what resonates with you. I would love to hear it. Share this insight with someone that you love. And thanks for listening. Take good care of your hearts and have a magical month. Happy new moon and June, dear Leos. So this new moon may privately and publicly present painfully honest feedback and opinions to you about where you stand in your relationships with friends, siblings, romantic partners, the collective, social groups, and maybe even customers compared to others in your industry. While for others of you, it may present an opportunity to make new connections and really improve relationships with a dose of honest conversation. Your relationship and social group houses are affected with this astrology. And when Mars enters Taurus this month, you may feel professional and public pressure in some way. Stars and cards show issues and conflicts related to maybe not feeling supported, whether that's you feeling unsupported by family, friends, romantic or business partners, or even customers, or where these people feel unsupported by you. But there are things that are getting harder to ignore, and there's this question of what you may need to say. Because silence and social speculations may be speaking so much louder than words. With so many planets in Gemini and this square to Saturn in your house of finances, assets, healing, great gains, and losses, there's this question of how will you connect through care and truth? What will you do? Or what are you prepared to learn or lose? All right, so we do have an angel number message for you, dear Leos, and it is angel number 933. And this is a message for you to let go of any situations in your life that are no longer serving a positive purpose, okay? We do have that two of cups here in, in reverse, and also the oracle card here that says it's okay not to be okay. And... The It's Okay Not To Be Okay card says that when we feel low or have challenging emotions, we often then feel bad about feeling bad. And this effectively doubles the emotional load. And so this card asks you to understand your difficult feelings as guidance, right? Highlighting that something needs to change and that you are entitled to seek support in this, okay? And... Uh, angel number 933 also really aligns with this and says you're fully supported, surrounded, and loved by the higher beings of the spiritual realm. And your sole purpose is one of serving, teaching others, and using your natural talents and creativity. So be open to receiving your well-earned rewards and blessings. Do things that make you feel creative, joyful, and loving. And by doing so, you open yourself up to receiving more positive experiences and opportunities. If you're truly passionate about something and wish to pursue it, align your life with your desires and create opportunities for yourself to indulge in your passion, whatever it may be. 
All right, so that is your message, dear Leos, and I hope that this supports you on your journey. Be sure to subscribe to the UA Light YouTube and podcast and leave some comments of what resonates with you and share this insight with someone that you love. Thank you for listening and take good care. Hello, dear Virgos. Happy June and happy new moon. You have the exact same cards as the Aries Collective this month for your tarot reading, which is super, super interesting, okay? But your message is a little bit different, right? In align with the stars and the cards. So this new moon and month of June, the stars and the cards indicate that promoting and publishing important completed projects and beginning new projects and partnerships can bode well for you. They can majorly impact your career, reputation, earning potential, and future possibilities. And so you're encouraged to be wise with every promotional and public-facing move that you make, okay, with the long-term consequences in mind so that you don't limit opportunities available to you. Neutrality coupled with compassion and smart communication are how you can maintain integrity with your values while remaining open to how the universe can bless your career. There's this other message that give and take in relationships, contract details, and work-life balance may be a point of conversation this month in your lives and your affairs. If an opportunity appears to invest in your health and well-being or in some quality time with ones you love, the advice is to open yourself to possibilities all right and so we're gonna conclude your reading with your angel number message and your angel number for the month is 12 12 all right so this is a message to stay focused on your highest expectations as your spirit team and the universe work behind the scenes helping you to manifest your wants and needs goals and desires This number is a powerful sign to step out of your comfort zone and take new directions or begin new projects and ventures you've been wanting to do for a long time now. This number encourages you to release your fears and apprehensions and get on with pursuing your passions and purpose. Yikes, that's incredible, yeah, in terms of how that aligns with this Open Yourself to Possibility card, okay? So this says... Release your fears, uh, apprehensions, and get on with pursuing your passions and purpose. And stay on a positive path and use your natural skills, talents, and abilities to their utmost for the benefit of yourself and others. Okay? Use positive affirmations and visualizations to enhance energies and draw them towards you. The more you focus on the positives, the quicker they are manifested into your reality. All right, dear Virgos, incredible, incredible message. Um, Very concise, short and sweet and aligned. Thank the divine, okay? So I hope that this aids your journey. Be sure to subscribe to the UA Light YouTube and podcast and leave some comments and positive review of what resonates with you. Share this insight with someone that you love and thanks for listening. Take good care of your hearts and have a magical month. Happy new moon and happy June, Libras. This new moon and month of June is about coming out of your cocoon and nurturing a new you into full bloom. New ideas could be appearing in your dreams and synchronistic opportunities may be appearing for you to learn or travel or bring your imaginative ideas to life. These could be fleeting and fun opportunities that you shouldn't sleep on. You could receive acceptance letters or news for educational programs, study abroad opportunities, or trainings that enhance your skills and your worldview, and maybe multiple invitations, options, and opportunities become available for you that maybe present scheduling conflicts and that may stretch your work-life balance. But Careful planning is the solution for you to experience all that you desire to explore. 
For any of you who are entrepreneurs, if you have had issues with developing something, you could do research this month and be led to resources or people of different cultures with expert knowledge to really help you resolve delays or development. The world is your oyster. And like the card suggests, open yourself to miracles. Okay. And the miracle card, the oracle card for you this new moon and for June is miracles. And it says we tend to perceive miracles only when our personal desires are met. And yet when we look back, almost all of us will be able to recall a crisis or a challenge that ultimately proved to be a miraculous turning point and an extraordinary gift. So this card asks you to see the miracles that surround you right now and in every situation. Okay, yes, that absolutely aligns here. So we're going to close out your reading with your angel number message. All right, and your angel number message is 533, which tells of important life changes occurring or about to occur for you <laughs> with this new moon portal, okay, from this point forward. These changes have come about due to your positive attitude and intentions to better your life on all levels. These challenges may initially seem challenging, but rest assured that they are necessary and will prove to be most beneficial in the long term. You've manifested these desired changes and better is now on its way into your life. So trust your intuition and inner wisdom. And allow your angels and the Ascended Masters to aid, assist, and support you through these transitions. And that's incredible because the Four of Swords card is absolutely that sort of card that is about being uh, in rest and relaxation, meditation, right? Um, oftentimes as a way of being in touch with your intuition and inner wisdom, okay? so. This says to rely upon your communication skills, talents, and natural adaptability um, to keep an open mind and heart as to the changes taking place in your life. And trust that they may be leading you to manifesting your highest ideals and desires. You are receiving divine guidance from the angels and from the spirit realm about upcoming life changes so know that they will be of long-term benefit to you and in alignment with your soul mission so assist and inspire with your natural abilities and be an inspirational guiding light okay dear libras i hope that this aids your journey and uh, be sure to subscribe i'd be uh, really interested to know what's going on for you guys. Leave a positive review of what resonates with you and share this insight with someone that you love. Thanks for listening and take care of your hearts. Happy new moon in June, dear Scorpios. So the stars in the cards suggest that you could be preparing for travel, remote work, study abroad, vacation, in a change of scenery and social groups, you may be craving deep intimacy, deep conversation, and time for deep study and spiritual practice. You could receive time, financial support, and key information that helps you with renovation or research projects. Time in nature or in the field could bring you joy, replenishment, and it could awaken your inner world. Your message is really short and sweet um, in that way, okay? <laughs> and your oracle cards for this month are ground yourself and take a leap of faith, all right? And the ground yourself card says to go outdoors, take off your shoes, find somewhere where it's safe to stand barefoot, Imagine roots growing out of your feet, traveling down into the soil beneath you, anchoring you with nurturing energy of the earth. And the Take a Leap of Faith card says that sometimes, even when we desperately desire change, we procrastinate and find all kinds of reasons as to why we should stay as we are. 
It's, it's understandable to be anxious when stepping into the unknown, but this card is calling you to trust and to make that move. All right. So your angel number message that we have this month is 611. So this angel message is about engaging in creative pursuits and projects. <laughs> it is related to concentrating and focusing upon your personal spirituality and life purpose. It says to stay away from negative situations and to keep a positive attitude and outlook in regards to your life and destiny. Because all that you will ever need will be provided for you by the universal energies. I feel like you know that by now. Okay. Angel number 611 reminds you that your thoughts, beliefs, and actions create your reality. So make upgrades to your home slash family environment, both within your house, home, and within your relationships with loved ones. Take the time to spruce up your living spaces with fresh colors, textures, plants, ornaments, and flowers, whatever you love to have around you. Use some feng shui to make your home reflect peace, harmony, comfort, and your own inner light and beauty. Tell family and friends how much you love and appreciate them in your life and foster more love. But listen to your intuition and guidance from the angels and your spirit team about your purpose and your soul mission. Live your truths and just be willing to step out of your comfort zone to accomplish the goals you set for yourself. You're supported, encouraged, and surrounded by love on your path. Okay? Incredible. Wow. That's really incredible. Like, that's really incredible how this aligns with the stars and the cards. All right. So, I hope that this aids your journey. Be sure to subscribe to the UA Light YouTube and podcast and leave some comments and a review of what resonates with you. Share this insight with someone that you love. Thanks for listening. And take good care of your hearts. Happy New Moon and June, dear Sagittarius Collective. This new moon and June astrology puts a focus on your relationships and on connecting with others who share your heritage, your point of view, as well as those who broaden your point of view. You may learn new information that affects your relationships this month. You may receive business partnership opportunities and even social or professional or romantic or getaway invitations. For some of you, it's a dream business prospect or partnership to increase your finances and broaden your network. It seems that some of you may be hesitant to engage with social groups, but some of this hesitancy could be about considering how your shared thoughts and feelings may affect your relationship and partnership opportunities. But there is a call to improve your relationship with yourself and to think highly of what you have to offer. Maybe remembering powerful real life or spiritual encounters or experiences where others spoke light into you or reminded you of how special you are. Whenever this unhappiness card appears, it's a message about meditation and, and sort of psychic activity and about connecting with your higher self and the divine and really tuning out external fluences um, as the means to happiness in moments when you feel overwhelmed or stressed. Okay. And so hold that, you know, in combination with this sort of encouragement by the divine to also open yourself up to new experiences, maybe even new places to shop for self-care and a confidence boost. I'm definitely getting a message about expanding your patronage. I def like that word just kept popping out to me, patronage and who you patron. Um, and this message that buying something that improves your appearance or your confidence might be something that, you know, sort of helps your mental health, right? So we're going to close your reading with your angel number message. 
It is 1242. That is the angel number that appeared for you. All right, and so this one is about your faith and your trust, your positivity and your optimism, and how these things can strengthen your connection with the spirit realm. It can make you more open-hearted and receptive to intuitive and angelic guidance. All right, this is about heart healing. All right. Your angels await your call for support, assistance, and guidance whenever you feel the need. Trust that they are with you, always. This angel number is a message to believe in yourself, your skills, talents, and abilities, and to know that you have a great deal of work ahead of you, but rest assured that you will have all that you need, both within you, materially, um, to achieve success and personal fulfillment. Your, go your goals are worth working for. So ask for angelic guidance and assistance whenever you wish and surrender your worries and fears for transmutation and healing. Take every day in your hands and shape each moment into something beautiful. That's incredible. That's incredible. I've never, I've never read this particular uh, angel message before this number, right? But it is specifically for you. Okay, I hope that this aids your journey. Be sure to subscribe to the UA Light YouTube and podcast and leave some comments, positive review of what resonates with you. Share this insight with someone that you love. Thanks for listening. Take good care of your hearts. Happy new moon in June, dear Capricorns. The cards and stars suggest that conversations, new information, and circumstances centering health and wellness, inequality and imbalance in your personal and professional life or in the world could be on your mind this month. You may be sorting out budgets, belongings, important documents, and sorting how to hold space for your own and others' difficult emotions. The advice is to ground yourself and truly examine your difficult feelings, any physical ailments, which may be emotionally based. With Venus in the mix, you have divine permission to invest in your health and your responsibilities. You may discover therapeutic techniques, herbs, and new daily routines that could be a perfect remedy for any illness. Your self-improvement and self-care matters, all right? And that is what the divine wants you to know, okay? So with the difficult emotions card here, it says, listen to your emotions. Every emotion is necessary and important, even challenging ones. And difficult feelings really let us know that something is not okay. All right, learn to understand and love your emotions and discover how they serve you. All right, and yeah, it just ties in. And your message is just really short and sweet in that way. I hope that this aids your journey. Be sure to subscribe to the UA Light YouTube and podcast. Let me know how this resonates with you, what's going on in your world. Share this insight with someone that you love, and thanks for listening. Take good care of yourselves. And give the rest to the divine. Happy new moon and June, dear Aquarius. Your new moon scope is super short and sweet. The stars and the cards highlight that this is such a fertile time for you. A time when travel and social appearances at events, creative expression, and fun fashion can bring a major boost to your confidence, social media engagement, and pay if it hasn't already. This spiritual warrior card here points to themes of navigation, GPS, <laughs> social media analytics, budgets, and creative visualization and mood boards of inspiration for me in terms of my, my psychic uh, intel. 
And so you may be in deep thought about how to navigate and make decisions about a number of creative and romantic opportunities, right? And any schedules or budgets, you know, for work or even children and pets. With some opportunities, you may be worrying about staying in alignment with your values and beliefs and even your sort of health ideals. And keep your long-term goals in mind versus fleeting desires when you're making plans and making agreements. Okay, so I hope that this aids in your journey. Be sure to subscribe to the UA Light YouTube and podcast and leave some comments and a review of what resonates with you. Share this insight with someone that you love. And thanks for listening. Take good care of your hearts. Happy new moon in June, dear Pisces. There is such a deep spiritual and ancestral energy pervading your reading. And spirit wants to say well done on your recent accomplishments. And they also want to give you a message to help you chart your course and make important decisions for continued future victories. And the message is that uplifting your cultural and ancestral wisdom and your experiential wisdom from your past personal experiences empowers you and that it supports your success with whatever you're building. You could receive some feedback about how what you create from this space resonates with families and people across cultures. And with this astrology, it's a beautiful time for prayer, for relocation, for travel, for surprise getaways, and also surprise launches. You could be seeing how your ancestry, past decisions, even deep loss and deep gains and expansion of your family, how they've led you to a particular victory or accomplishment and potential for your future. And there's just so much to look forward to despite how far you've come, including helping generations to come. Okay, and so your angel number message for this month and for this portal is also um, just so synchronistic. It's the angel number 222, which is the master builder number, right? And about building with ancient wisdom and that wisdom informing your visions for the future. Um, it's about transformation. It's about encouragement, okay, which again, I'm feeling just such a strong, a strong, clear message like that spirit wants to encourage you, you know, like spirit wants to encourage you um, and support you in continuing to attain your success and to know that you continuing to attain your success is about them having a hand in supporting you, right? So 2222 is about miracles and timely opportunities. It encourages you to take a balanced, harmonious, and peaceful stance in all areas of your life. The message is to keep the faith and stand strong in your personal truths. And it tells you that everything will turn out for the best in the long term. Don't put energy into negativity and be aware that things are working out to buy spirit for the highest good of all involved. 222 is reminding you to keep up the good work you're doing as the evidence of your manifestations are coming to fruition. Yes, okay? It's a message of faith and trust from your angels, your ancestors, and spirit team. Remember that nothing happens by chance. Everything happens for a reason. And with your positive attitude, you will find that everything will have positive results and you will receive abundant blessings in divine right timing. All right. So um, I definite, in terms of abundant blessings, I'm not even going to lie. I'm getting a message that um, some Pisces might be getting news of pregnancy and expanding their family or um, might just be doing some family planning. 
Okay, so I hope that this aids your journey. Be sure to subscribe to UA Light YouTube and Podcast. Leave some comments. Review what resonates with you. What's been happening for y'all? There's so much spiritual energy. You know, let me know. <laughs> Share this insight with someone that you love as well. And thanks for listening. Take good care of your hearts. Take good care of your people.